welcome to the Gastric Health Show. My name is Dawn Boxel and I am your host. So we are going to kind of dig in to the malabsorption piece. So we're going to talk about constipation and bile acids. We are digging into bile acids and the connection um, with motility and constipation. Um, I would say most of the studies were showing as early as 2008, um, 2011, 2013, they were seeing some connection or some correlation. Um, and there's some studies um, even in bariatric surgery showing um, the um, alterations in bile acids and um, not necessarily the connection with constipation. The big picture is if we just focus on improving or increasing bile flow, uh, which there are solutions we can do with that, um, that would be a great way to give you ideas and solutions that you maybe haven't tried. So bile acids are made in the liver from cholesterol. So many of you may not realize that. Um, so cholesterol is not all bad. It, it is needed in various different roles. So that's why your doctor doesn't want that cholesterol low because it has a purpose. Um, but it makes bile acids. 95% of the bile acids are absorbed by transporters um, and recycled back to the liver but 5% pass into the colon and are disrupted by intestinal bacteria and um, either utilized or kind of um, um, you know, transported in different ways. The primary functions of bile acids are intestinal fat absorption um, and assist in the absorption of vitamins A, D, E, and K. Um, so all important, especially after bariatric surgery, when we are disrupting or sometimes altering with the um, ruin white gastric bypass, we are um, altering the absorption of vitamin and minerals. So you throw the bile acid um, alterations in it and um, that could be um, a really big negative for those fat soluble vitamins. Some bile acids are natural laxatives and can influence your colon motor activity. That's what we already know about bile acid diarrhea. Um, in 2008, in the Scandinavian Journal of um, Gastroenterology, they can see that the people who chronically have constipation, a don't respond to our fiber fluids and movement. Um, and they were re requiring lots of laxatives and prescriptions just to have normal bowel movements. Um, so when weight loss surgery patients are kind of getting lumped into this category, um, I would say it makes it interesting. And they are um, isolating certain nutrients can really help. Um, there are some supplements that can really help support bile flow. Um, in 2021, I just want to show this correlation, um, bile acids and metabolic surgery. And they talked about sleeve gastrectomy and the Ronoi gastric bypass in this study. In this study, they were actually trying to identify, hey, could there be a drug that we could use um, that is connected with bile acids that would help someone not need um, weight loss surgery, something so invasive that maybe it could be a medication that it could help promote weight loss. They're looking at this for additional ways to support weight loss. Um, but I find it interesting that it's been identified as a hormone and its ability to modulate a variety of effects um, on lipid metabolism, glucose homeostasis, which is kind of what the magic that happens after weight loss surgery. I think if you take, again, a step back and the fiber fluids in movement is not working for you, maybe we could explore increasing bile flow um, by diet and supplements and see if that improves your constipation.